All right. For the life of me, I cannot get this game to work well, and I am so done. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to boot it up. Um, this is WarioWare Snapped. Um, the US version. This is... This is the debug ROM. Uh, you know, DSiWare, whatever. Um, let me just go through the, the documentation real quick. It's like a, a bulleted list of what I'm going to mention. Um, it says that there's a feature where you can stop the game and then enter the, the, um, debug monitor menu. Which will show you, like, a uh, number of objects, uh, speed, dump, memory, whatever. I don't, I don't know if that's, like, a thing. I, I don't, uh, scratch that, actually. I don't want to play this stupid game. But, um, I couldn't get the the menu to function on the US version at least. It might function on the uh, original Japanese debug ROM. I don't know. I don't know. This documentation is not very well written. But feature 2 does work and that's where this is going to be this is going to be hard for me. Okay. Let me just press L R and uh, left on the D-pad. To enter the debug menu, um, there's uh, the, the top screen. Honestly, might be the most interesting part. Um, y you know, the stuff down here is kind of interesting. Test scene just takes you to the scene. Uh, the flow configure will do whatever. I'll run through all these. Um, this is blank. This is unused. Anything blank or unused just goes back to the debug menu. This is blank. This is a uh, DSi uh, storage error or something. This is supposed to be sleep mode, but I couldn't get it to work. This is the, the software manual. This is blank. This is the demo when you start the game up. Title screen. This tells you like to play in a light environment or whatever. This is actually where you take your photo and try to get the stupid thing to work. This gallery is after the micro game finishes. Staff role is credits. Caution is you closed your DSI and I deleted all the data. Haha. Ha. Screen. This is blank, and this is the micro games. Uh, I can I can press I can press X or Y to uh, go to the default setup. Uh, I'm just gonna press B. Go to game configure. <sighs> You've got some course options, but all this changes is like the color scheme. Language. Um, this is the NTSC release. It only has three languages programmed in, which is U.S. English, French, and Spanish. And everything else, um, everything that's text, everything that's like a texture uh, will be English. Everything that's actually text will j be like hyphen JP hyphen, you know. Uh, that's like the default string that it just sets all that to. Story flag. Um, I'm going to read right off this. It says, uh, set up a story of five frame comic. And you can set that to true or false. I think that's a Jimmy thing. I honestly couldn't be bothered to remember what this game actually does. And I don't care that much. Face flag. Um, it says compulsorily bring out the laugh log data true or false i have no fucking idea what that could mean and i don't care 
uh, auto game, you can set it to automatically succeed or automatically fail, which will stop the game like very early and it'll just give you a success or failure and neither of these will just give you normal gameplay story i'm assuming is comic yeah this is the five frame comic strip according to uh according to the documentation GP limit, I don't know what this is, but that's good because I can't change any of it at all. GS limit is uh, a number of micro games that you have to play. Um, I don't know, I'll set this to one just for the hell of it. Uh, I won't go into the micro games right now, by the way. I said the courses were... Well, the languages on here are Japanese, US English, French, uh, German... Italian, Spanish, and UK English. Once again, the only languages those that actually function on this ROM are US English, French, and Spanish. Uh, the courses are Wario's, Mona's, uh, Jimmy's, uh, Cat and Anna's, and the staff credits. Uh, snap configure. Let's see is this is this is not noted on the uh, the documentation as far as I can tell there's nothing to see here uh, variation configure is just variations of games like a uh, like small details like sometimes it's a man and sometimes it's a woman you know stuff like that anyways the list of micro games is bye bye uh, coin glasses Gourmet Arrange, Nose, Observation, Sweet Memory, Sweet Memory Arrange, Hat Arrange, Totem Pole, Mosquito, Fan Arrange, Block Arrange, Teapot, Fill, Fill Arrange, Three Point, and that's it. And uh, Test Sound is actually probably one of the most interesting things. It's literally just a sound test though uh, there's not a lot special here um, let me actually uh, go to go to flow configure go to staff roll and then test scene okay another debug control is uh yeah so you press the A button to <laughs> press the A button to start the results screen. Obviously, um, you can press. Well, that let me no no. One second. Okay, I am back into the debug menu and back into the credits in a second. There you go. Uh, you can press B to start over the credits, which you can do repeatedly. Uh, X button for the player gets damaged. Y button to recover. Um, so you can press left on the control pad to move to the left. You can press right on the control pad to move to the right. Um, 
if you can press down on the control pad to cut the speed you're going in half, which isn't doing much at the moment, but you can press up to accelerate the play speed by ten times, like that. If you accidentally die, you can just press B to, uh, to start over the credits, but... And, I don't know, I mean, that's, that's really about it for the debug menu, as far as I know. Um, I'll put the stupid, uh, docs in the description or something. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay, peace out, I guess. Uh, this game sucks. Bye.